Hi, I'm going to show you how you can assign the Map Growth Assessment for your Read 180 students. First, log in to HMH Ed through the Clever platform. Once here, select My Classes. If you are not seeing My Classes up in this top menu bar, you may have your browser a little smaller, which creates a hamburger menu, which creates a drop-down menu that you can select My Classes. Find the class for the test that you'd like to assign. Once you're in the class, you will see in the class overview the map growth icon. You can select that and you'll be brought to the NWEA site. If you are not seeing the map growth icon, you may want to check your program settings to ensure that you have a Read 180 license assigned to the class. If it's still not showing up here, you can also find it by going to Discover and selecting Connected Solutions. Once you've selected Map Growth and been brought to the NWEA site, you'll need to go to Map Growth. You'll find that by selecting the top menu bar, Map Growth, and then find the Testing section and select Manage Testing Sessions. Once you're in the Manage Testing section, you can do one of two things. If you just have all of your students in your class that you would like to test, you can select Test My Class. If you have more than one class, it will give you the option of which class to select. That will start the test immediately. If you're trying to set up sessions ahead of time or set up a session for students that are not in your class, but you're trying to determine if they should be added to your class, you would select Find Students to Test. This screen on the Find Students to Test, mine looks a little different just because I have access to all of the schools. If you only work in one school, which primarily we have all teachers in one school for Read 180 instructors, you'll just be automatically assigned your school. From here, if you are selecting students that are not in your class, you'll want to leave all of these settings alone unless you're trying to narrow it down to a grade level. By clicking search, that's going to pull up your entire school roster or the students within the grade band that you selected. Mine is a fake class, so it's a lot shorter, but you'll have a whole list of students. From here, you can select which students you would like to add for the test. Click Add Students. You can either test now or you can save a session. If you're saving a session, you can name it. So for example, I'll just call it period four and I can click save and exit. I can set up sessions ahead of time so that the next day, all I have to do is come back. I'll have this section here where it says saved test sessions. Click show and I can actually start the test session when I'm prepared to do that with students. If I click test now, this window pops up. I can see all of my students and it, the status if they're actually testing or if they have not yet logged in. Students will need to log in on the test.map.nwea.org site. There should be a secure browser being added to each of the student devices, which will ensure that they cannot go to any other site while they're taking the test. If that does not yet exist on um, your computers, it will be shortly and you'll just want to make sure students are not accessing anything else while they're testing. When students sign in, it will ask them for a testing session or a password, and that is given to you, which is a unique identifier for each session. So if they go in, they'll be able to plug in 7214, and it will look something like this. Put in period four, the testing session name, and the password. Once the test is complete, click End Test Session. You can save it if you still have students working on it, or you can delete the test session if all students have completed the test. In this case, I will save and exit. Once you've completed the test, you will be able to go to Map Growth, Reports, and you'll have a page like this. You'll see district profile if you have access to district or other schools. For teachers, most case, they're going to see the school profile, class profile, as well as the student profile. There are also some other reports that you can pull in here, such as the family report if you want to give more information to families. Hopefully this is helpful, and if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to Tammy Steves.